Former Chicago lead singer and bassist Jeff Coffey is going to be touring with former Eagle Don Felder. I'm John Bowden from RockHistoryMusic.com. Their first date together will be May 13th and 14th at Epcot in Orlando. And I think one of the good things about, you know, former members of big bands getting together is you get more bang for your buck. I mean, this is a great pairing. When it comes to Chicago and Eagles fans, there's uh, some cross-pollination there. There's a lot of fans that kind of like both bands. First off, we talked to Jeff Coffey exclusively about joining Don Felder. He's a brilliant guitarist, a brilliant guitarist, you know, and, you know, undoubtedly wrote one of the most memorable and most recognizable guitar lines, you know, and one of the great song, you know. Um, I read his book, uh, interesting read, it's a great read, you know. Um, he, he also represents a guy who stood up for himself, too, you know. And uh, um, so he's out there having a good time now, you know. You can see it that he's having. And, and, and the reviews on his show are great, you know. Don Felder left the Eagles in the early 2000s, and Jeff Coffey just left Chicago in the early part of this year. I asked him, how big of a fan of the Eagles were you? Oh, yeah. Well, you know, um, just you heard that music so much on the radio in the 70s as a kid. And then when I started playing music in bands, you know, you played some of those songs a million times, you know, because they're just staples. You know, you have to play them. But they're great, you know, and I, and I was always in vocal bands, you know. Um, and so we did Seven Bridges Road, you know, we did all that Eagle stuff with all the layered harmonies, five part, four part harmonies. And so I was always into them because of the, I was always drawn to vocal bands. I really was. I mean, I, I'm a sucker for um, a good hook and a great melody and a good vocal take, you know, and, and I was listening to guys like Take Six, you know, back in, in the fusion days, whatever, in the 90s, you know, and I, I love that stuff. I used to sing in a doo-wop 50s group at Universal Studios here in town, you know, so uh, I'm a sucker for vocals. So the Eagles, you know, they incorporated so much of that layered vocal stuff in their, in their music. And you had the different timbres of the voices, you know. So it was great, you know, I love that. So there you go, it's part two of our multi-part series, talking to Jeff Coffey and getting to know him. He left Chicago, as we mentioned, in the beginning part of this year. He's joining Don Felder on tour. It's gonna to be a great pairing. He's playing bass with him. Hopefully he'll be doing some vocals as well, because that's what he did so well when it came to his pairing with Chicago. Jeff's a good guy, we wish him well. We'll have more from our interview with Jeff Coffey coming up next week. I'm John Bowden. Make sure you share our video, subscribe to our channel, and talk about our videos. Most importantly, subscribe to our channel. And we've got good news. We've got Rock History Book t-shirts coming up. We've been asked for years because Rock History Book was first a syndicated radio show across the country. Then it became an internet radio station, and now we're a YouTube channel where I think we belong. But through the years, we've always been asked because everyone loves our logo. How about a t-shirt? Well, we've got those coming up. We'll have news in the next week or two. I'm John Bowden from Rock History Music.